Hi, in this video we'd like to discuss the hormonal profile assessment that we do here at the hospital for PCOS patients. A hormonal profile is very important in helping us determine the exact severity of your condition and also the nature of your condition as well. So PCOS is one of the most common uh, gynecological diseases that affects women and it's a hormonal imbalance disorder that happens over a long period of time leading to all the clinical symptoms and also how it affects your fertility, how PCOS patients are having difficulty in getting pregnant and also how they experience recurrent miscarriage. So first of all, if you do come to Atai Hospital, the first test that we do here for you is a blood test to assess your hormonal profile. Specifically, we are looking at six hormones. The first three include FSH, LH and uh, prolactin. So the first one is a follicle stimulating hormone, the second one is a luteinizing hormone, third one is a uh, prolactin. These three are secreted by the pituitary gland and they are protein based hormones and the next three are secreted by the ovaries and they are steroid based hormones. Now, the first three is uh, estradiol, progesterone and testosterone. So with these six hormones alone, uh, or if they use the correct method regardless of which establishment you go to, here at the hospital, we do use electrochemical illuminescence, which is the most accurate form of assay to actually assess your hormones. Others may use ELISA, but it is less accurate. But regardless of what type of fertility blood test you do, we are looking at these six hormones to give us an accurate uh, depiction, accurate picture of what exactly uh, is going on in this patient. So another important thing is that some patients will ask us, uh, when do I need to come during my period so that I can get the be uh, best results, the best outcome for the assessment. So if you're, in fact, if your uh, period is regular, uh, we do recommend that you come three to four days after your period. And this is the time where we'll get the best readings and also give us a better, clearer idea of your condition. And also, this is the stage where the follicles are still in the early developmental stage, still very maturing, still in the early stage. This is the ideal time. However, it's much more difficult for PCOS patients because they don't re uh, mens uh, menstruate regularly. Some of them uh, menstruate less than four or five times a year and it can be very difficult to actually determine when exactly you want to come. So that's why here at the hospital, as a protocol for all PCOS patients, you can come whenever you want to. There is no time restriction. Uh, you don't have to be a specific day or time of your cycle because it's very hard to determine which exact part of the cycle you are at the moment. So that's why for PCOS patients, besides this uh, hormonal profiling, we need to do an additional ultrasound to actually measure the thickness of the endometrium, the level of vascularity. With these two information hand in hand, then we can actually have a quite accurate picture of uh, your condition and also where exactly are you in your current cycle. And with these two, we can actually go on to the next step on diagnosing and confirming the condition. However, there is additional factors that we need to consider because not only, we cannot just simply look at the blood profile and quickly diagnose this patient. We still need to look at her physical symptoms, her signs, and it really depends on the doctor's experience as well. If this doctor has seen many PCOS patients, he will catch things that normal doctors will not and avoid a misdiagnosis. Now, this is very common as well. Another benefit of this uh, hormonal profile is that after surgery, you can actually go for this test again and you realize that your hormones have uh, different readings now. They have slightly different levels. The profile is completely different now. This is uh, due to how you have recovered from the treatment and how the treatment was actually successful. Previously, because you have PCOS, your profile will be uh, imbalanced. So the profile is not of a healthy woman. But after surgery here at the hospital, you can see that your levels have restored. And this is a marker, a measure of how treatment was successful. And this is what we do for our patients here. But however, from treatment at other hospitals where they use ovarian puncture, ovarian drilling, those types of treatment methods, if you do another assessment for your hormones after surgery, you'll realize that it's still the same. It's still as bad or even worse. And this indicates that treatment was a failure. So this is something that we don't want to and that's how important this blood profiling, uh, how important it is before and after. So before it's simply just a 
step in diagnosing and after it's a indicator a measurement of how successful the treatment was so to find out more information about our PCOS treatment if you'd like to seek it for yourself or friends and family who suffer from it please visit our website set up a consultation and let's make arrangements for you to receive this treatment as soon as possible and for you to enjoy the benefits uh, please look forward to the next video and leave me some comments down below